can you just address the arrest and the incident, what happened, if you feel like saying anything about it or no, or can or not? I am not able to, I'm sorry. It's fine. Appreciate it. How do you feel, feel, to, feel to get back out of the football field? Good. I was excited. I'm um, grateful to be able to be out there with my team. Obviously, get a great win, so that's really awesome for us. Did it feel odd with the brace at all? Um, it was a little weird. I've been working with it for a while through just like training and running a little bit, but it's obviously different when you're at high speed and in a game. Sweet. <laughs> first game with the brace? Yeah, first game ever. Ever, ever? Never yeah, ever. it's my first time wearing one. What is it? Is it a coincidence that you get back and the offense probably has one of its better, more complete games in a while? Or, you know, the difference you kind of make on the other side of the cow? Well, one man doesn't make a team, um, but I know the value that I help bring to the team. And uh, what guys have mentioned to me, um, as far as Calvin and Christian, the respect that they have for me. So that means a lot to me that I can help open the offense up. Um, but it's, it was an entire team effort with the special teams and defense as well, obviously in the offense. So, um, like I said, it takes all of us, and it's gonna we're gonna need that this week because we're playing a really good team. How big is the game this week against the Texans? Um, well, obviously, we know what the implications are as far as our division. Um, we won't make it any bigger than that, but we have a healthy respect for what they're doing in Houston. Um, CJ's playing really well right now. Uh, their offense looks to be firing, and they got great players as well in their defense. So, you know that we're going to have our hands full, and uh, I'm sure everyone's going to have everything to say on both sides. But uh, it's going to be an exciting matchup. Were you starting to think that this neat thing was going to drag on for a lot longer than it did originally? <clears throat> um, yeah, because I think uh, there were some things that went on. You know, Personally, that I'm just gonna keep uh, the training staff knows, but it was important that I did things the right way um, for the safety of you know me and my future and my career, and ultimately to help the team in the end. So I'm glad we took the, the necessary steps to make sure that I could come back in the right manner. There's no soreness or anything this morning or anything. Play football game, your whole body so uh, <laughs> fair. How much do you think? With this Texas matchup, given what happened in week three, will really stoke this team for this game, particularly Trevor, who I'm sure was not happy that the team lost by, by 20 at home. Can you repeat the question again? How much do you think the team, given the results of the week three matchup, will be stoked, juiced up for this particular game because of that result and not just because they're a division opponent? I think we're going to assess the film from last, from last time. And we always do that. We always go back. Um, we even watch a game from years ago just to kind of see you know, what changes, what do we do. Um, but that week is not this week. And I think if we're carrying that with us into this week, it won't hurt us. So our mindset is just to refresh, get our bodies back, uh, assess what we need to do better, clean up, and bring new things in. I can't speak for Trevor and what he's feeling about that week, but I know he played very well, and I know he'll continue to play well. Having to watch from the sidelines, you know, last few weeks while injured, when you're out there and actually playing, how much do you, are you able to kind of cherish that and be able to enjoy those three hours out in the field, just, you know, playing playing football and, and being healthy enough to do that? I think um, just at this stage in my life, I'm learning how to be present and just enjoying where I'm at. And it's not easy because as a competitor, you want to be out there. But I've learned a lot about myself in um, the time that I've been hurt on the sideline, even connecting with teammates that maybe I wouldn't usually connect with or a uh, training staff or a member of our uh, sports science team. So I'm really grateful for those opportunities. But ultimately, um, I was brought here to help win football games. So if I have to do that on the sideline or if I get to do it on the field, I'm grateful for both opportunities. It seems like with this team, like the last two years, every time there's a rough week, you guys come back firing next week. Mm -hmm. What is it about that resiliency about you guys? I don't know. I haven't really connected those dots. Um, I can agree with you in some instances. I've, I've seen that. Um, I think we just played the base level of what we train to do. We carry that fire and that edge that coach kind of speaks about um, week to week. Just try to minimize the waves and just keep it consistent. I know that we're capable of doing that, and I, I feel as though we're going to play some of our best football moving forward, which I'm excited about.